What's up guys and welcome back to another Revolution Games video. In today's video we're going to be discussing Operation Spectre Rising. This operation just released this week and with this week's release comes the new flooded wetworks blackout map, Misty Special Order, the new Black Ops Pass content, Uncle Frank, the three new maps, and so much more. So, to delve right in first, we're going to talk about Blackout. Blackout brings a brand new mode called Bounty Hunter. Bounty Hunter is a mode where you have to drop into the map, find a stash that has Spectre's equipment, and run around a Spectre hacking, slashing, and collecting bounties on the highest skills players have. Doing so will reward you with a supply drop and so much more. Fight to the last man is the goal here, and you will have the ability to turn into Spectre. Note, Spectre is not able to be played on this mode until at the launch of the game. You will have to find the Shadow Blade to play it as Spectre. Now, moving on to the next bit I want to talk about with Black Elf. Alcatraz is gone for now. Yes, I know. A lot of you are not a very happy with this, but it will be returning at some point. Not knowing when, but I have a feeling it will return with the next pat like content patch. So keep an eye out for that, gents and ladies. Now to talk about the new characters that are arriving with Blackout's new release of stuff. We have a grand total of five characters coming this operation. So far, one of them is already released, and the other is a Blackout's past concept. So the devil in first, I want to talk about them. So we have Misty, who makes her grand return from the Black Ops 2 days. So with the original voice actress, a slew of new voice lines, and some very, very, very keenly changes to her outfit. Next we have Uncle Frank, who is, by definition, you know, the Black Ops 2 old man version of Frank Woods. After getting his knees blown off by Menendez and being stuck in a wheelchair for life, which allows him to be the liaison for David Mason and all things knowing of Raul Menendez. Other characters arriving is, yes, you may have guessed, David Mason. We also have Sarah Hall in the Blackjack Reserves, along with Blackjack himself, he is in the Reserves. And little do we know, but I believe Sergei is coming as a special order. With that said, let's move on to some of the multiplayer content and things all relating to multiplayer. This operation brings three new maps, a new specialist, two new weapons with this current listing of 50 tiers that we have. Hoping to see the next 50 tiers after the Days of Summer event arrives. But with this I digress, so let's get into what we have right now. Right now we in the tier system at tier 25 we have the Nifo T melee weapon. It is a brand new melee weapon. And yes, for the first time it is a melee weapon that isn't involved with a purchase price. Thank you, Treyarch, for listening for once with certain things. I think this has to incorporate after the tragic event of the $30 hammer. It didn't get much revenue, I believe. Unfortunately, I had to get it so that I could stream some content for you guys, but I regret doing that. Anyway, moving on with my bad judgment later. Next, we have the Tiger Shark LMG, which is a new LMG which is supposed to be fast paced, fast firing, and lightweight versus the more heavier versions of the Titan and the VKM. But, moving on. Artifact makes its debut. It is a map devoted to a bit of the Zombies universe. It is laid out as a story of archaeologists who found an ex interesting exploratory object. Discover a rare zombie artifact, the Odin Perk statue. Therefore, this map has direct ties to the Chaos storyline, and I would honestly like to see them incorporate this little area into a zombie's map for future use. Now, to delve into more content drops that we'll be having in the future, what we have yet to see is the Ballistic Knife, and all the other fancy sniper weapons like the Mini-14, the new sniper that they promised to give us, but haven't really shown and reveal yet for and a couple of other neat little weapons and surprise rewards we're still getting. Hopefully we're going to be getting these soon in the next couple of months, but I digress. With that, I would like to thank you all for watching. Please subscribe and like the channel and like the videos. Also, please, please, please 
if you guys want to catch me in a live stream, I am now on Twitch. I will no longer live stream on this channel. Well, this channel will now be digressed only for YouTube videos. Therefore, I would like to state one final thing. I have the utmost respect for Call of Duty. I like to see where it's going, although after the last operation, I have lost a little bit of hope with it, but I'm going to digress and keep giving you guys straightforward content, some straight up truth, and I hope you guys are here to enjoy it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit that like button, and hit the notification bell to be alerted when new videos go live. Thank you, and have a nice day. Slash Revolution Games, we offer, he offers only, they offer the highest quality action. <laughs> Drama, get back, no, it's not your baby. Excitement, get down, everybody get down on the ground, now the bomb is in me. Only on Twitch.